The first thing we need to look at is his bass drum foot. Dave has long been known for hard hitting, fast bass drum patterns that last like the entire song. I could give any number of examples, but The Metal by Tenacious D would be one of them. Scentless Apprentice, doom, doom, blackoom, blackoom, go, 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 blackoom. and of course the groove for My Hero. Dave comes from a punk rock background, cutting his teeth in bands like Scream. So these patterns are somewhat second nature to him. It's not that they're so hard, it's not that they're so fast, it's not that they're so long, it's all of those put together. Next up would be what I call drum hooks and his parts driven playing. To me, Dave's drum parts almost sound like a guitar part. They're extremely well constructed within the constraints of the song. He comes back to them and he makes parts that are very, very memorable and singable. Not all drummers do this. You have songs like Nirvana's In Bloom that you literally cannot sing that song without also singing the drum part. Ba -da -da -da. Ba -ba -um -ba -um -ba. And then there's the infamous intro to Smells Like Teen Spirit. Even simple parts to songs like Drain You are just so musical and memorable that they're very singable. He constructs drum parts like a guitarist constructs guitar parts. And this is one of the beautiful things when we look at players and we go, why is their drumming so hard? It's not that maybe the notes are so hard. It's not that maybe the player is so complicated. It's being able to replicate that part, how they are playing it at the velocity they're playing it with the genius that they have, that they come up with when writing the parts. I've yet to hear a drummer that sounds like Dave Grohl and writes memorable parts like he does. We can't talk about Dave Grohl without talking about his epic Tom work. He consistently writes heavy, hard-hitting, infectiously grooving Tom patterns. In My Hero, there's this incredible Tom part going. And I mentioned this song earlier, but let's check out Tenacious D's The Metal at about the 52 second mark. Next up is his use of the drum rudiment, the flam. There are countless examples of Dave using the flam in drum fills, but he also utilizes it a ton in drum beats, which is not something you hear all too often. I mentioned it earlier, but the Teen Spirit intro is a great example of his use of flams in a drum fill. He uses them in the song Elephants by Them Crooked Vultures, the group that he formed with Led Zeppelin's bass player. The infectious groove from Scentless Apprentice uses them. And then check out his use of the flam and the Tom groove for My Hero. This next one's a sneaky one, but it's the use of the quarter note on the hi-hat inside of a drum beat. He uses this all the time, but until you start writing his parts out, you really don't notice it. Let's just look at these four examples. And then we have the, he's just a cool guy factor. I mean, how many drummers can you say were a member of three chart-topping, genre-bending bands, asked to tour with Tom Petty and the Heartbreakers, formed a super group with the basses from Led Zeppelin, and is a highly sought-after session drummer playing with the likes of these artists. I think a lot of it has to do with his personality, I think a lot of it has to do with his outlook on life, and a lot of that comes through in his writing on the drums. Remember, going back to parts-driven writing, it feels like he's writing musical hooks, but on the drums. This grew from the song Implant by the band Killing Joke it's a great example of just the overall cool factor of Dave. It's about the 21 second mark in the song. Peppered throughout his career, you will hear him use what is referred to as the bottom triplet. Now, for me, the bottom triplet can be kick right left, kick left right. It can also be right left kick, left right kick. At the 1 minute 23 second mark of the song Elephants, by the super group, Them Crooked Vultures, you can hear him use bottom triplets at the end of this drum fill. And of course, his use of the ever popular Herta. We talked about this whenever we went over Neil Peart's drumming and how much he used the Herta. It's all over the track by Queens of the Stone Age, no one knows. Check out the 1 minute 23 second mark. 